deputy parish of this county sheriff's office. Tonight at 10, you've heard the stories of a deputy just trying to help. Hey, Matt, it's Zach. I just want to make sure you're okay. And now we're hearing that heart-wrenching interaction. Where you at? Where you at? That turned fatal. Denver 7 starts right now. Hey, good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Ann Trujillo. And I'm Shannon Ogden. First to 10, we have a couple of stories breaking right now. We want to get to this alert out. This is an at-risk man missing in the metro. His name is George Werner, 65 years old. He's confined to a wheelchair and he has dementia. He was last seen near the Kennedy Golf Course in Aurora seven hours ago. Also breaking tonight, we've just confirmed a local teacher has died while on holiday vacation in Mexico. Parents of students at Aurora Hills Middle School got the call today learning of teacher Wendy Welch's death. According to the school's website, she taught Spanish. And according to an online fundraising site, Welch died in Cabo during New Year's Eve. We are making calls and asking what happened, and we will follow up. And tonight, we have body camera video and a message from the Douglas County Sheriff trying to answer the question, what happened? We want to warn you, though, it might be difficult to watch and especially to listen to. So the body cam video is edited, but... It certainly gives us an idea of what happened when deputies showed up to the Copper Canyon apartment complex New Year's Eve. Liz Gilardi walks us through the timeline. Before the deadly ambush. It's Deputy Parrish, Douglas County Sheriff's Office. You can hear a calming voice. Hey, Matt, it's Zach. I just want to make sure you're okay. Deputy Zach Parrish is talking to the man who would ultimately take his life. I'm at the Sheriff's Office right here, man. It's a glimpse inside a terrifying call. Just... In this edited video, you won't see or hear the shooter, but you see these deputies trying to help each other after they were shot. You all right? Where you hit? Where you hit? Where in the chest? Where in the chest? I'm shot in the arm and the leg, Sarge. I need a flashlight over here. You're okay. You're okay. I don't see blood. I don't see blood. Oh, I see blood. Deputies were rendering aid to each other. Uh, we were continuing to be shot at. He's shooting out the window. At 3 a.m., deputies responded to the Copper Canyon apartment complex on a complaint. I'm going to try to figure out how to calm him down. Two hours later, at 517, they were called back again and developed a plan to provide mental health aid. Less than 45 minutes later, shots fired. And it's so important to me to be able to share with you what happened? It's the question on everyone's mind when a man with a history of mental health issues snaps. In an interview you saw first on Denver 7, District Attorney George Brockler says although the shooter was on their radar, it didn't rise to the level of filing criminal charges. Mental illness alone is not criminal. And this video shows the challenges as deputies tried to help. He's going through a manic episode. And tomorrow we will sit down with Douglas County Sheriff Tony Spurlock for his first interview since that fatal shooting. We will share with you what we learn tomorrow on Denver 7 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. There are